Emily knew it for cargo with a Nebraska connection is headed to the International Space Station. And we have powerful images here from earlier today. The spacecraft working its way to orbit. Yeah, and it's not due to arrive at the space station until Thursday morning. As Brian Mastery reports, one of the scientific experiments on board came from Lincoln. Two, one, ignition, engine full power. A successful liftoff this morning at Cape Canaveral, Florida. There are 3,000 pounds of scientific experiments on board, headed for the 11 astronauts on the International Space Station. Pretty exciting, I have to say. It was pretty fun. It was perfect launch, perfect day. I'm very happy Mira's on its way up to the space station. One of the 20 experiments roaring through space right now is a surgical robot, the first to be tested at the space station. It's in a box about the size of a microwave and invented at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. It was packed on the cargo ship similar to this. I must tell you that the flight controllers here in the International Space Station flight control room were simply mesmerized by that great video of the first stage landing. Our learning is in the doing. UNL engineering professor Shane Ferreter has been working on a space-worthy version of the surgical robot for two years. When it comes time to test, a surgeon in Lincoln will head to the headquarters of Virtual Incision in Lincoln to control the robot 250 miles above Earth. Inside the experiment locker, the left arm grasps. The right cuts what is a simulated surgical tissue. Of course, there will be time delays between ground and space. Plus, how will microgravity affect the experiment and the surgeon? Encouraging results could pave the way for surgery anywhere and a surgeon somewhere else. We're just showing what's possible, but what I'm really excited about and what I think the university is really contributing to is the ability to do surgery from a distance, remote surgery and telesurgery. There's so many rural hospitals and critical access, access hospitals where there may not be a specialist. And if you could have someone dial in and help with the surgery, that could bring people better care. Before the experiment can even happen, the ship needs to arrive at the space station. That doesn't happen until Thursday morning. And yes, it takes around 40 hours for the cargo ship to get to the space station. You saw Shane and Rachel. They were there for the launch. Rachel is Rachel Wagner of Lincoln. She's doing her PhD thesis on the robot surgery in space. A lot of people want to read that one. On your side, Brian Mastery, 6 News.